Okay, folks, so I'm just uh, prepping, um, washing some uh, veggies over here. Um, prepping a pot of soup that I'm going to actually do in the crock pot. As I told you guys earlier, I actually wasn't going to do it because I'm feeling like really tired. We went to the grocery and it was literally a madhouse because everyone is pretty much thinking that the storm that's coming is going to be the end of the world. So it was actually a line to get in the grocery store. Then when we got in there, there were just so many people. Um, so it was exhausting and needless to say, I ended up not going to the other place that I wanted to go to because I was already tired from the whole process of it. So um, came home, got something to eat, and I was just actually going to just rest. But I'm going to put this soup in the crock pot and just let it do its thing instead of doing it on the stove top. Hey, Cynthia. I don't want to stand over the pot forever, if that makes sense. Alright, so I have some thorough bananas. Okay, so I have two burrow bananas. I'm going to put that, finish those up, put them in a pot. Um, I have some burdock root, which I'll strip off with the potato peeler. Um, I've got three, maybe three potatoes, red potatoes that have been here. They started growing ears. So um, those, I make them uh, for the boys with onions and peppers and things like that. So I'm going to put those in the pot. I've got four chayote squash. See, this one's starting to go bad. I've got a spaghetti squash that I'm going to cut open and use that in the soup as well. I've got some seaweed that I have soaking in here. Hey, Carrie. And some water to snap it back to its natural state. All right. And I have my crock pot over here. This is the one I was telling you guys about that I got over the holidays. It's a bigger one. And you can use it for like large things like stews and soups and things like that. So that's what I'm going to actually do with it. Um, it's got a low setting, a high setting. Um, it's got a four hour setting, a six hour setting on low or high. So that's what it looks like. Four and six. And then it's got low and high. So right now I have it on four on high. So it's just going to sit around. And this is how big the inside is. And it's a traditional, you know, original crock pot with this very heavy uh, middle section that you take out. And this actually has a suction cup top. Usually they have removable top, but these tops are not removable. So you just close it down and suction it. And it's connected to the lower part, which is very, very convenient. Okay, so... Um, I've got four chayote squash, I've got these washed here. So I'm starting with my base, just water, right? Um, you know, some folks typically ask, well, how do you get your veggie broth or whatnot? Your veggie broth is actually made by the actual vegetables that you put in the pot. And that's what gives the soup its flavor. I also bought a habanero pepper. I bought like four of them, they were very hot. But for the soup, we're just going to drop it in there and leave it and not cut it. Because if you cut it, then it's going to be too spicy, right? So I'm leaving this to the side here. And let me just show you guys the... I'm going to add some of this quinoa that I did in the, the crock pot earlier when I showed you guys. See that uh, chickpeas? That's the one from earlier. So I had turned it down on low when I left. Um because I didn't know how long we were going to be gone. And then I put it back on high when we came back. So they're, they're not done yet. You can tell because they're still very, they look not hard. I tasted one. They're not completely hard. But you see, it breaks apart, but it's not exactly soft. So it needs more time. And I just put that back on high. And then this is the quinoa that I did earlier. 
this is done it's a little bit too um, moist for my purpose but it'll dry out and I also put a piece of the honey squash in with it this one here honey squash in with it to give it a little bit of sweetness so I'm, I'm going to use some of this and put in the soup as well to help thicken it and to help give it flavor and for additional protein from the uh, the quinoa all right I could put some of the chickpeas in there too but I won't because um, I have more quinoa than I do chickpeas all right and there's the rest of the kabuka squash I'm also going to use that in the soup to give it a nice rich color and also uh, beautiful beautiful thickness so I'm gonna close this thing here feel that water it's not even warm yet should be getting hot the outside is hot Woo! I feel it okay it's coming along all right okay so I'm gonna start with first of all here's some burdock root I showed you guys this once before so this is what we use for the tea you could also cook this right in stews soup stovetop you can fry it up um, I fried it up one time um, apparently it has it's said to have um, the texture of seafood and I did fry it up so it was a little rubbery so that part is true doesn't necessarily taste like seafood it just has that texture I think that people are looking for all right so I'm just gonna use I'm just using a potato peeler I just don't want to get it over here on my um, stuff that's already cleaned off so you guys know how to do a potato peeler <laughs> all right and this burdock root also is similar to like when you start when you peel an apple the same thing that happens to an apple if you don't eat it right away happens to the burdock root so it changes to a brown color just like a, a banana a green banana would or a green bar banana yeah same thing so I'm just gonna start throwing things into this water right um, actually you know what let me just put some seasoning in this water You guys can go back and look at the video from earlier today when I was working out. At the end of the video, when I came upstairs, I showed everyone, um, you know, what I had. I basically showed them how to make the chickpea and the quinoa, right? So you can see the process there. I just kind of let it, um, I left it showered, left the house, came back. I just had to turn it down a little bit, the chickpeas anyway. I'm going to season up the water. I'm grabbing some sea salt, cayenne, um, Slice it up a little bit, give it a little zing. And I'm still gonna put my habanero pepper in there, but I'm not gonna break it or cut it, all right? How are you guys doing this Sunday? 